The former North Korean deputy ambassador to the UK, Taeyong Ho, who recently defected to South Korea, has expressed confidence the regime will completely collapse and reunification will happen within five years. He made the remarks during a trip to Arirang TV in Seoul, or Oh jong has the details. Reunification of the Korean Peninsula is set to happen in five years or even sooner. That's what former North Korean deputy ambassador to London Taeyong Ho told Arirang TV chief news anchor Moon Gon Young during an exclusive interview. Tae said North Korea, as we know, will cease to exist as soon as the Kim Jong-un regime crumbles down. Now all North Korean people and you see high-ranking officials know quite well that the current hereditary system mm -hmm. uh, has nothing to do, you see, with true communism. There is no more any Kim family member after Kim Jong-un. When Kim Jong-un, you see, goes out, then I can say that reunification will come. The former diplomat added the reunification of the two Koreas is more feasible than ever as there is no other person in the Kim family to succeed Kim Jong-un's position. Tae entered South Korea in August last year and revealed that his disillusionment with Kim's reign of terror prompted his defection. Tae is the highest-ranking official since Hwang jang yeop largely considered the author of the North Korean Juche ideology, defected in 1997. And since his arrival in South Korea, Tae has been expressing his willingness to devote the rest of his life to the reunification of the Korean peninsula. Many people do not any, have any hope for uh, reunification, you know, and the, the recent, you know, uh, the poll shows that only 63 to 67 of uh, general public support uh, the reunification. My personal determination uh, is to try every, you know, the possibility to reunify the country in five years. Through the hour-long dialogue with Arirang TV, the former North Korean diplomat shares his insights as well as details of life under the Kim Jong-un regime. The exclusive interview will be aired at 9 p.m. on Tuesday, January 24th, Korea time. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.